This is ANN News Brief. The shores of the continent's largest freshwater lake, located in East Africa's Lake Victoria, have risen to record levels. Businesses and homes have been submerged, threatening thousands of lives and livelihoods. Lake Victoria Basin Commission says rising water levels present a massive health risk beyond displacement. In the lakeside city of Kisumu, nearly 100 kilometers further south, tourist spots, Hotels and fishing villages are underwater as well. Parts of Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania are also being inundated by floods and rising waters have forced families to abandon their homes. In Budalangi, Western Kenya, dozens of families are stranded on the swollen shoals as surging water continues to consume the remaining roads and bridges. The rising lake levels have caused the river Nile water to rise as well. The National Union of Somali Journalists has called on authorities in the country to stop harassing and intimidating journalists. The call was contained in a statement to mark World Press Freedom Day. The union alleges journalists in Somalia are working in a climate of extreme fear with brutal physical assaults and malicious arrests. The union says in recent weeks journalists have been on trial on uh, trumped up charges in order to silence those seen as critical of authorities. A rights group, Reporters Without Borders, has ranked Somalia 164th out of 180 countries near the bottom of the Global Press Freedom Index. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines, we cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Africa has now recorded more than 42,500 confirmed coronavirus cases across 53 countries on the continent. Some African countries are now easing lockdown restrictions earlier imposed to contain the spread of the pandemic. Africa Center for Disease Control and the John Hopkins University in the United States report the latest data on COVID-19 in Africa show 42,769 infected persons, more than 14,000 recoveries and 1,000 1,759 that have been recorded. Lesotho remains the only country on the continent with no confirmed case. The World Health Organization said on Friday countries must lift lockdowns gradually while still being on the lookout for COVID-19 and ready to restore restrictions if there is a resurgence of the virus. That is ANN News Brief at 4. Join us again at 5 for our full newscast. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi. <laughs>